Hey guys, it's me, Ali. Welcome back to Ali's DIY World. So, some of these DIY material packs will be done in the near future. This week, I'm starting with something perfect for beginners, which will be punching needle. I'll be sharing my first experience and offering some tips along the way. So, let's get crafty together. And here are the results at my first attempt at Karomi and my second attempt at My Melody. As you can see, they both totally look different. But why? Actually, it all boils down to a missing and crucial tool that seriously messed up my punching needle project. Want to know what I was missing? Stick around till the end to find out. So, punching needles is super aesthetic and satisfying craft where you can create cute and fluffy 3D design. It's relaxing and fun to try out new things. To save time and money, I brought a material pack that has everything you need to do a punching needle project. And it teaches you how to make them. And just a heads up, this material pack was originally designed for a flat pattern. But I decided to get creative and turn it into a fluffy 3D embroidery version. So keep in mind that all original material packs, including this ladybug design, are meant for flat patterns. But hey, who say we can't add a little 3D magic? It's been custom made by the supplier just for my special request to create a ladybug image. We have got an instruction note, a hoop, an ASO, all colorful yarns, a punching needle, lastly a punching needle cloth. I'll be working on this in my next video, so if you're curious to see how it turns out, make sure to tune in. And if you want to join me in this project, you can order the same pack by clicking the link in the description. So with that further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So from here on, I'm actually gonna let my future self to do all the talking. As you can see, I've chosen Kiromi over Melody. Because Kuromi is just so cute, as I traveled to Japan, I went to Ikebukuro Senryo Cafe where I've ordered Kuromi roll cake and Kuromi pancake. We got a material pack with a future reference of Kuromi with all the material that you need. As you can see, there's a U wire. As you place the U wire into the little hole, you push the wire to the top. As you can see, the wire is out. Then place a string of yarn inside this wire. Then pull the wire on the other side with the yarn until you see the yarn coming out. As I was having problem doing Karomi's eyes, I went back to watch some tutorial. Now, as I got the grip of doing punching needle, I worked my way up to do Karomi's hat or maybe her head. So, as you can see, Karomi is kind of looking a little bit cursed. I just need some trimming at her hat or I think it's her crown. I'm not really sure. So... Yeah, the back looks like this, and the front looks like this. As you can see, I worked my way up to Kurumi's go hat, then her face, which took a long time. My hands was like really starting to hurt because I kept on punching the needles back and forth. So I was punching it for about maybe three hours or so. So I took a break, and this is how it looks like. So this is day two. And I've been working on this too. <laughs> Kiromori? Kiromori. Kir is it Kiromori? Kiromori. 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 It was getting dark, so I, so I haven't finished this part here. And I'm gonna finish it today. And at the first time when I'm doing the headband, it was going really great until I kind of destroyed it at the face and the eyes. So I'm gonna trim it back to its shape, to its 3D shape. So yeah, well, 
Let's get to it. So I was being a little bit greedy because I wanted to make a greedy shape of Kuromi. But my scissors was just not cut out for this job because it was not designed as a 3D cutter scissors. So I tried to make it make it into a sh Kuromi shape, but it was just not working. As you can see, I struggle a lot with this scissors. Well, here we are finishing Kuromi. Is she perfect? Nope, totally not. Nope, totally not. I kind of destroyed the eyes and the face, but it was my first attempt, so I'm really happy about my result. It, it's kind of fluffy, but <laughs> at the edge, the yarn is kind of coming out because I cut it way too, way too short, and yeah, and the back is is just horrible. <laughs> Oh well. Well, what do you guys think of my first attempt? So this is how it looks like up close. As you can see, the eyes are a little bit different, not the same, and some yarn are kind of coming out, but I'm happy with the result. Today I'm gonna make Melody. <laughs> my curl me here didn't go that well, but I'm kind of proud of it, of my first attempt making this. Yeah. So this is how it will looks like as you receive this Melody material pack. As you can see, this cloth has been drawn with Melody holding a heart. Cute, right? Anyway, as I started doing Melody's outlining, I started working on the ears to the hands. Since the material pack was originally designed for a flattened pattern, I started with the black outline for the upper part. There wasn't enough material to complete the entire outline for my Melody, but I don't think it will affect the overall look of the project. As I continue on punching Melody, I started to work on the ears with the red yarn and as you can see I'm still using my old scissors to cut the shape of Melody as I, as I kept on punching back and forth, I was being really careful not to punch out of the outline of Melody. As you can see, it was a little bit difficult. I kept on like flipping the hoop over the other side. Now, as I finished the other side of the ear, I finally received a package which contains my new scissors. Now, I can finally do some 3D modeling. <clears throat> I mean 3D cutting. Finally, I finished the red part of Melody, but still need a little bit of trimming and I brought a new scissors and it works really, really well. It's much more, it works well than this one. These scissors are specially designed to cut yarns cleanly and efficiently. The sharp blades ensure smooth cuts without failing and damaging the yarn fibers. The narrow sharp head of the scissors is tailored for cutting yarn loops with precision. It allows you to easily navigate through tight space and integrate patterns without snagging or pulling. The unique curling head design is a game changer for trimming yarn. It enables you to create smooth curved cuts and Essential for achieving neat edge and finishing touches in your punching needle project. I brought new one, so it, this one, it was not cutting like really well. I didn't cut the 3D shape that I wanted. So I got a new one and it was just perfect. <laughs> well, let's keep on doing it. As you can see, I'm starting using my new scissors to cut the outline of Melody's heart. Technically, it's not her heart heart, it's just that she's holding the heart. So I tried to cut it sideways to make the fluff go upward and a little bit 3D. In this one, I'm putting a lot more effort into making my Melody and now you can see the fluff of the heart. It's just so fluffy and 3D. One tip that I find quite helpful is that you want to cut the yarn, you want to cut 
at the highest part of the loop. So the two sides will be the same as the length and you can just use the scissors to cut it like sideways to cut it into a 3D shape. Then it will create a tall kind of fluffy of a look. You can just see how tall of the fluff is as I cut the 3D embroidery. If you want to make a 3D shape, you need to cut like a 90 degree angle to make that 3D shape. And voila, here is a finished version of my my melody all right my melody is done i can see that i made a lot of progress because i bought a new scissors and to cut it into like a 3d shape my other my other one kiromi was not really that good because i got i was using this scissors over this one <laughs> Because they are different, this one is a little bit of sideways, so it cu can cut the 3D part much more nicely. And this one is straight, so it couldn't like go into the yarn and was cutting really badly. So yeah, the other parts is just that I need to a little bit improve my cutting at the eyes and a little bit of 3D part. So these two literally took me forever to finish, but I was really happy with them because I was being a little bit more patient and precise with Melody, but yeah. So that's why Melody turned out so well. And every single mistake that I made on Kuromi, I incorporated into Melody and put more time into it. Anyway, I'm really happy that I put a lot of time into learning how to do punching needles. It was so much fun learning the craft, even though it was really tiring punching it non-stop and going back and forward. Looking back, I'm really happy with the process I made on my melody and Chromie. As Michael Jordan once said, I can accept failure, everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying. This quote really resonates with me, and it reminds me that the effort we put in is always worth it in the end. If you are interested in trying punching needle for yourself, I've included a link below to a fantastic collection of 50 cartoons pattern. They have Hello Kitty, Winning the Pooh, Spongebob, and so much more. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with any DIY crafting ideas you like me to try. I hope to see you in the next time. Bye bye and have a nice day! Mm -hmm.